Gun violence in Brownsville is on the rise. Three children were shot there over the last two days, one of them fatally. And tonight, outraged community members say something needs to change. CBS 2's Naveen Dhaliwal reports from Brownsville. Candles lined for 14-year-old Josiah Guy. His mother too heartbroken to speak about her son who was killed Sunday morning. Brownsville in! In Brownsville, outrage to hear another life was lost at the hands of a gun. Police say the shooting happened in a fifth floor apartment in the Howard houses. Officers found Josiah with a gunshot wound to the chest. Well, he was a good kid, you know, he was bright, young kid, everybody liked him. Josiah's 12 year old cousin now facing charges in his death, including manslaughter. Police sources say the shooting was accidental as the 12 year old was playing with a rifle. His life is over. If this thing is not handled properly, that 12-year-old loses his life along with his family member because there was a gun present. Community activists say gun violence in Brownsville is a pandemic, especially after two girls ages 9 and 11 years old were shot in Hilltop Park on Monday night. Thank God that I'm not planning a funeral. She's going to live. She's going to live, thank God. Melissa Alexander's daughter, 9-year-old Rowana Brown, was shot in the leg. They went in and out. And her niece, 11-year-old Empress, was shot in the back. No one has been arrested. But an uproar in the Brownsville community where NYPD stats show shootings are up more than 60%. So far this year, 28 people have been shot in the 7-3 precinct. But in the same time period last year, 17 were shot. There's too many people here who want to make this safer. So I'm pleading with our leaders. There's no more talk. We know what works. We know what's needed. Let's just do it. In Brownsville, Naveen Dhaliwal, CBS 2 News.